In today's experiment, we'll be conducting the titration of vinegar. Now, vinegar is a mixture of acetic acid and water, and the titration will be used to determine the concentration of acetic acid in vinegar. So, before we begin, we're going to make sure we prime our burette. So, to prime our burette, we're going to be using um, some distilled water. to ensure that all of our sides are evenly coated. And you want to do this a couple of times. Once we've primed the burette, we'll add sodium hydroxide at eye level using our stool. So the next thing we'll do is ensure that the tip has no air bubbles and that we've primed the tip as well. So I'll open the burette and let some drain through before closing it tight and reading the initial burette reading. So now that we've primed it and released any air bubbles from the tip, we're going to do an initial reading of the burette, which is 0.5 mils. From there, we'll take our Erlenmeyer flask and fill it with our five mils of vinegar. We will also add our distilled water into our Erlenmeyer flask. Now, because I don't have a lab partner, I'll be using a stir plate to make sure that the solution is being stirred um, throughout the entire experiment. So I'll let that stir initially to make sure that the solution is nice and even throughout. As that's stirring, I will add five uh, drops of our phenolphthalein, which is our indicator solution. This indicator solution will give us a visual clue as to when our equivalent, equivalence point has been reached. Now we can begin our titration. So I'm going to open the burette and we're gonna see a color change as we add more and more of the sodium hydroxide into our vinegar solution. And initially you won't see any color change that's uh, permanent or persistent. So just keep an eye on what's happening inside the flask. If you saw, there is some pink that's beginning to appear and is becoming more persistent. So I'm going to slow down the titration just a bit so we add the drops um, of sodium hydroxide rather than a long stream. So at this point, I'm beginning to see the pink color more persistently, so I'm going to start adding dropwise to ensure I don't pass that equivalence point and I keep a very faint pink color in the solution.
So once we've reached the equivalence point, our solution should be a very light pink color. So now we'll record the final Biorec reading. And for my case, it is 42.1. Once complete, we can rerun this experiment for a second trial and then average our results. So for our second trial, I filled up our uh, sodium hydroxide solution in our burette. And just as a note, you do not have to start at zero. For example, in my second trial, I started at 2.4 mils. Um, before we get started, I have already added my vinegar and water to the Erlenmeyer flask. So now I'll add my five drops of phenothaline, my indicator solution. And then I'll put it on my Erlenmeyer, uh, I'll put my Erlenmeyer flask on the stir plate and let that mix just before adding my sodium hydroxide. So I'll begin my titration with a big stream coming down and I'll make sure to keep an eye on the pink color as it becomes more persistent. So we're doing a second trial to make sure that our initial trial is accurate um, and that we've considered any possible errors that might have come about in our first trial. And I've started to slow down the amount of sodium hydroxide that's coming down because I'm seeing the pink color become more persistent. And what I'll do right now is called a split drop where I'll turn the stopcock really quickly to get one drop in rather than letting a lot of the solution fall through.
And once again, once we've reached our equivalence point, our solution will turn a very faint pink color. And so our final volume is 44.5 mils.